Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lost you guys there somewhere. All right, are you guys ready for the next comment? <laughs> I fart some zombies. I think back, and I know you're gonna walk around the house for like a week and, and be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you may know our next comment from her starring roles in countless training videos for Boeing and Microsoft. Yeah! celebrated our first anniversary. And our Hollywood year since like our 10th, so we're pretty proud. But the reason I bring this up is that in every, um, everyone who we talked to said, the first year of marriage, you guys, is the hardest, it's the hardest. And they were right. <laughs> Hard. Mostly because before I got married, you guys, I was a drunken whore. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my husband was too. The reason I know this is that in every relationship, there comes a time for that conversation about the number. <laughs> you know what this is. It's the number of past sexual partners, right? Well, in every relationship I've been in, either they've asked me or eventually I've asked them, and we brought out the charts and graphs and figured it out. <laughs> this is the first time I've been with anyone where neither one of us is even coming close to popping that question. I don't think it's because we both know it's gonna be some embarrassingly huge number. <laughs> and we got married pretty quick after we met, too. I was like, okay, I found a keeper. Let's march him down the aisle before we get to the number. <laughs> and, uh, well, actually, we've talked about it a little, you know, compared some notes, and as it turns out, we had already slept together. <laughs> <laughs> it was in 1997. <laughs> Only I called myself Lucy. <laughs> so we joke about it. It's okay that we were both huge sluts because we got married, right? And the way I see it, when you get married, you wipe the slate clean, right? Like a virgin. <laughs> so, uh, um, now that I'm married, I don't have to rely on aliases anymore. I go by Andromeda. <laughs> Yes, that is in fact my given name. People are always asking me, is that your chosen name? Which is basically a polite way of saying, did you make that up for yourself? <laughs> you did, huh? <laughs> yeah, I made that up for myself. I chose Princess Andromeda because Cinderella was already taken. <laughs> Actually, my mom's an astrophysicist and they named me after the Andromeda Galaxy. An astrophysicist, for anyone who didn't get Kate's jokes, is an astronomer, okay? Just to be clear, it's very different from an astrologer. <laughs> I know, it's confusing. I, I'm still convinced that my mom can tell me whether my rising sign is compatible with Scorpio. She cannot. Um, to give you an idea of my parents, they're actually both world-class scientists and huge overachievers. And that is why I have worked so hard to become an underachiever. <laughs> Mix things up a bit. You know, growing up with parents like mine is a lot of pressure for a kid. I mean, my dad is up for a Nobel Prize, and my mom has dined at the White House. Clinton's White House. <laughs> my husband and I, last night, we got stoned and went to 7-Eleven for a burrito. <laughs> It was my birthday. <laughs> but I know I gotta cut out all this drinking and smoking lifestyle and stuff, because we wanna have kids soon. And I'm no fool, I know it's gonna take some time to detoxify my polluted womb. <laughs> but I'm going out in a blaze of glory, okay? Which is exactly why a few months ago we took a trip to a country that has a long tradition of decadence. We went to France. And I grew, I grew up in France when I was a little child. That's when I learned how to smoke, chain smoke, and hang out in bars. <laughs> so I figured that was the best place for my last hurrah, right? Well, we get there, all ready to party our asses off, only to find that all my French friends have quit smoking and drinking. 
Now, they just do heroin. <laughs> just, just every once in a while, it takes the edge off. So they're like, heroin, I'm like, heroin, are you guys crazy? Didn't you see that film, that, that movie, Less Than Zero, the kids smoking pole for drugs? And they're like, no, 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 that was coke. This is heroin. And I'm like, oh, okay, heroin. Did you see Train Spotting? Baby Dan and Cramp, hello? No, 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 no. We do not inject it. We only sniff it. <laughs> oh, okay, you only sniff heroin. Kind of like Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Syringe to the heart. No, thank you. And they're like, oh, no, 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 you silly girl. That, that would never happen. That is your Hollywood. You're so Hollywood, silly, silly. <laughs> <laughs> out about the heroin and these guys are like just laughing at me they were so casual about it they were like how we would be about smoking pot right I mean I just got up on stage and told you guys my husband and I got stoned last night and you're all like woohoo hilarious comedy <laughs> so apparently uh, French comedians get up on stage and they're like last night I did some heroin <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> My little daughter had to revive me with a saline. <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> it was my birthday. <laughs> oh, France, we had a great time. Uh, my husband got me some French lingerie. He got me this outfit with a thong underwear. I do not wear thong underwear, okay? In fact, I call bullshit on thong underwear. No one's gonna do it. I know, all my friends wear thongs, right? And when I tell them why, when I ask them why, they never say something that makes sense. Like, I don't want my panty lines to show, or I just think they're really sexy. No. They always say one very ridiculous thing. They always say, I just think a thong is so much more comfortable. <laughs> You've heard this. More comfortable? I mean, are we talking about the same thing? Because <laughs> you've got this thin strip of fabric riding up your ass. And throughout the day, it does work its way up a lady's front bottom, too. Make no mistake. <laughs> Till eventually, I'm flossing my teeth every time I walk. Right? And I feel like I've got to take a shit all day long. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that that is more comfortable? More comfortable than what? I'll tell you what's more comfortable. Boxers are more comfortable. Tiny whities are more comfortable. Listen, if thongs were really so much more comfortable, guys would have switched to thongs a long time ago. In fact, since my husband got me those, I make him wear them. Stand up, honey, and show everyone I got no panty lines. Just kidding, we don't have to. All right, thanks, you guys. Drop it on, everybody. Drop it on for everybody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to round of applause for your weight staff tonight, working really hard to take care of you. You ready to hear it? Favorite first night on the job. Everybody knows how tough that is. All right, folks. Are you ready for the next comic? Yeah. Yes. You ready, sir? Yes. Wow. You ready? He's really ready. He's amazing. He's all right. There you go. Taking back. What's your shirt say? Sunday. Taking back Sunday. What does that mean? Oh, it's a band. Okay. Well, I just.